information is used in all sorts of kinetics, including enzyme kinetics. And it, it can be phrased two different ways, which are equivalent. You can say that the steady state approximation is that the net formation of the intermediate equals zero, i.e., this is the net formation of the intermediate, so this entire equation equals zero. Another way to say it is that the rate of formation of the intermediate equals the rate of decay. So that's saying the same thing, that this term is going to be equal to those two terms. That's saying the same thing. So if we can set this whole equation equal to zero, then we can solve for the concentrations of the intermediates in terms of the rate constants and the concentrations of the reactants and the products, which is what we need to do. So let's do that. So we can rearrange this expression now that we have uh, set equal to zero. And put that up there. And so we can bring N2O2 over to one side. So we have our intermediate on one side, and then we are going to have K minus 1 and our little K2 times the concentration of O2. And so that is the rate in which the intermediate is de decomposed and consumed, and that's going to be equal to the rate at which it's formed which is another way of expressing the steady state approximation. So we've just moved the decomposed and consumed to one side, and we have the rate at which it's formed on the other side. And now we can easily solve for uh, the concentration of the N2O2. So we're going to do that over here. So that's now going to be equal to our K1 times NO squared over K minus 1 plus K2, let's put this up a little bit, K2 times the concentration of O2. So now we've just solved for N2O2, our intermediate, in terms of our rate constants and in terms of our reactants. So that's good. Now we need to take this and substitute it back into here. And uh, 